Okay, I'd like to welcome to the stage the CEO of Buzzmin, Charles. Well, there you go. Thank you very much, Alex. Uh, so, what is Buzzmint? Well, the video you've just watched is our vision of Buzzmint, which is an industry-leading SaaS-based platform that will enable brands, businesses, and content creators to quickly and easily deploy Web3 projects of real utility. But why Web3? Well, in short, Web3, and blockchain in particular, gives us control over our digital lives, through ownership of our data, our assets, and privacy. And if Buzzmint was a Web2 project, then we would be the Shopify, Wix, and WordPress of Web3. So what solutions does blockchain and Web3 solve that Web2 couldn't? Well, they enable connected, self-governing communities, not reliant upon social media and big tech. They allow businesses to put customer loyalty and engagement back into customer loyalty and engagement. And they allow people, products, and services to easily prove who and what they say they are without the requirement for intermediaries. And everyone wants a piece of the Web3 and blockchain pie. From digital assets, efficiency, transparency, trust, and of course, money. Which is hardly surprising, because in, sorry, in uh, this year, the market is worth 2.8 billion, rising by 2033 to approximately 116 billion. So what have we done with our pre-seed round of 500,000 pounds, which we raised 12 months ago? Well, we delivered on our initial vision. And here's just a small taster of what it can do. So far, so good, which begs the question, why am I even here? Surely we would have earned more money than Jeff Bezos by now, and you guys would not even be required. But just like Jeff and his colleagues within these other companies, we need help building products which massively scale, rather than broader value propositions. I'm sorry, a bit lost there. And that is exactly what Buzzmint ourselves have been doing over the last 12 months. We've laser focused on building with selected partners products at massively scale, such as ticketing, rewards, carbon credits, and ESG and certificates. But that's just the beginning. Here are a hundred other markets that Buzzmint is perfectly suited to, but the writing is small for a reason because they're in the background, one step at a time. So who have we engaged with over the last 12 months? As you can see, we've had a rather busy time collaborating and building our tech. But let's be more specific. In film and media, we will be minting upwards of a million tokens over the next 12 months for a world-renowned car designer and also an Emmy-nominated filmmaker. In loyalty and rewards, we'll be launching the UK's first tourism token. In digital twins, we are collaborating in the luxury diamond and watch market. And finally, in the certificates and ESG sector, we're building a carbon credit platform and also launching with our partner, Network Science, who incidentally are here today. And Sandy, I asked him to raise his hand, but I don't know where he's gone. Uh, a, a token-powered eco-wash system in India, which we're incredibly excited about and which we expect to utilize millions of tokens over the next 12 months. So how does this translate to revenue? Well, currently we have a monthly reoccurring revenue of approximately 14,000, rising to 30,000 in Q3, and a core focus on vertical markets that scale working with key collaborative partners and further technical innovation. In particular, we will be incorporating AI to assist our clients in content production and seamless scalability. Finally, who are we? Well, unfortunately, we're not quite these guys yet, but we do share something in common with them. Both myself and my business partner come from an advertising and publishing and media background. We work with outstanding developers, and we also have the support of an absolutely superb ecosystem. And I'd like to take the opportunity to say thank you to Enchain and to the Block Dojo for organizing this event. 
it was, after all, you guys who, who introduced us to some of the people in the rogues gallery of mentors which we've managed to onboard as well. Finally, and I'm sure some of you might appreciate this, it's been said that blockchain and Web3 is to the evolution of the internet what nuclear energy is to the fight against climate change. Indispensable, but wildly misunderstood. Though we believe with our next seed round, it'll just become one of those things, and it'll be Buzzmint, and it will be indispensably Web3. Thank you.